texted me the next day. He was like, can I see you again? Blah, blah, blah. Didn't really think much of it. But this is where it gets so weird. So Sunday rolls around and my two friends are like, do you want to go on a walk on the on the West Side Highway? And I originally in my head was like, no, because I had just moved. I went to the Yankees game the day before. I was exhausted. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So we're going on a walk. They're like, we're going to stop at this bar and we're going to get drinks. In my head, I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that because I need to not drink today. But then we get to the <laughs> end of the walk. And I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'll drink. So we stop at this bar that none of us have ever been to before. We're at the on the rooftop drinking. Ten minutes go by and these two guys walk in. And I literally had a heart attack. I was literally like, <gasps> and my friend was like, are you good? And I was like, no, 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 I'm not. I, I Well, I was like, I am. But I, I was like, I thought I just saw somebody that I know. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, what guys would you know? She was like, okay, whatever. Um, I look at him again. And I was like, I literally go, you guys, <laughs> that is blah, 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 who I went on a date with on Wednesday. And they're like, are you sure? And I showed him, showed him his hinge, hinge pictures. They were like, that is 99.9% like percent him and I was mortified because I had no makeup on my hair was in like a top knot we had walked four miles in 90 degree weather I was sweating wearing shitty workout clothes like I wasn't wearing like a cute two-piece it was right. like <laughs> it was like this like what I have on today it's not <laughs> like, like the cute I'm working out set it's like the it's like I'm working out no, I'm sweating <laughs> set there there are two types of workout sets and one of them is like adorable and you're like you have your make like you have the makeup on and you're like I'm gonna go on a five second walk and then FaceTime you and then there's like the no I, no bitch I'm sweating yeah I don't want to see you and I was sweating I was stuck to the seat it was so gross oh, and stuck to the seat yeah and so I put my sunglasses on and I'm just like please don't notice me not because I didn't want to see him I did want to see him it was because I felt so uncomfortable by how I looked it was such a yeah stupid you wanted to see him but you were like I'm just not right now after the four mile walk yeah I was like we've only gone on one date you don't I don't want you to see me in this condition yet this is like f two months in type of seeing someone <laughs> and you're blindsided like you weren't supposed to see no like, it wasn't scheduled exactly so like he sees me he starts approaching me and I'm like oh that's definitely him he's coming over so he comes over with his friend he says hi and this man has like the most like I don't even know how to like describe it I don't want to say confidence because he's confident but it's like just like cool like chill confidence I've ever seen in a person he just like comes over sits down and he just decides to like hang out with us wait you're there with your friends mm -hmm. there's three of you mm -hmm. how many extra seats are at the table oh there was none so we were on the boot we were on the bar and they're across the bar. And when I say across I mean like literally this far at a table that's like across the bar and they pull up chairs he pulled up chairs to come sit by you and your friends <laughs> yeah to talk to you guys? Yeah. Did he introduce himself? Yeah, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, hi, I'm blah, blah, blah. I I love him for that. That is like, it's just so like, why be awkward and avoid it? Instead, he just like went right in and was like, hey, I'm so-and-so. Yeah, because I thought maybe he would say hi and then walk away, which I didn't want him to. I wanted him to stay because I, I like really enjoyed his his company when we went on that date. But yeah, he just like sat down and, and just like was like, I'm going to join you guys. We were there for eight hours uh my friend um my other friend came eventually to madeline and th so there was me and my three friends these two guys we hung out there from like 1 to 8 p.m and did he how was he it was so much fun like we literally all just like sat in a circle at the bar we're like playing like drinking games oh talking at one point he was like oh, I shouldn't drink anymore. I have to go home and work. And on, in my head, I was like, oh, that sucks. I really want to keep hanging out with you. Next thing you know, he's like at the bar. He's like, who wants shots? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I like this guy. It was So it was so much fun. Then we went to another bar and we like drank till midnight. But the whole point of this story is like, I've never had a situation where I've ran into somebody I am dating or yeah. gone, sorry, gone, I got, went on one date with him. But, like, any guy that I... I've never even ran into a guy that I like before. out Like, with unplanned. Like, that's never happened to me. Really? And we both were like, I can't believe we ran into each other. That was his first time going to that bar. My first time going to that bar. He had just gotten done with, a, like, a four or three or three to five mile run. And the only reason why they stopped was because his friend was like, I need to stop and get, like, something to drink because I'm going to die. It was all unplanned. This whole day was unplanned. It's like the... It was like the universe put us together 